In the headquarters of the famous Foreign Legion, there are more regiments in reserve, not only for Dakar, but for all of French West Africa. The Legion, Vichy authorities proclaim, takes its orders only from Vichy and from no others. The Paramount News cameraman was permitted to photograph in full the enlistment program now going on throughout all French Africa. The French are enlisting not only the younger natives, but are welcoming back to the ranks the seasoned veterans of other campaigns. The loyalty of such as these is unquestioned by any French officer of the Legion. The military administration under General Vagon controls the distribution of troops. The French claim that their North African motor transport has never lost its efficiency. In the car itself, the government is strictly military, responsible only to General Vagon and through him to Marshal Pétain. Governor General Boisson, responsible for the safety of all Senegal, keeps watch over his territory by air. The Paramount News cameraman was permitted to accompany him and to photograph at the airport some of the American-built Curtis and Glen Martin planes that constitute the backbone of Dakar's fighting air force. The number of squadrons now on duty, of course, was not given out by the French authorities. Where the American-built planes came from also was not discussed. However, from the air, the Paramount camera records a passing glimpse of Dakar. Additional scenes were censored out. For communications, the car relies on its high-powered wireless system sending direct to Vichy. Close by, there are shelters under construction, bomb-proof shelters designed to take care of essential personnel and equipment to carry on. The main strength of the French fleet rests in the car. Submarines pass by the Paramount News camera, French submarines. Fast destroyers with their men at salute for the officers escorting the camera crew provide visible evidence of French naval power still available at the car. The modern and powerful French battleship, the Richelieu, is flagship for Admiral Colonet in command for Vichy. It was with his cooperation that these scenes in the heart of the French naval defenses were made and sent to America. Over the car roll heavy clouds. Ever present are the vultures and ever present are the apprehensions of the Western Republics, questioning tomorrow and the part Dakar may finally play. For today there can be no doubt first that Dakar is powerful, second that Dakar still is French. <laughs>